In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can check your current C++ compiler version. So C++ introduces a new language standard every few years, a new language version that brings in a bunch of new features, a bunch of new improvements, like C++11, which brought in a bunch of game-changing features, like, like shared pointers. Okay, then we had C++14, C++17, C++20. These are some really, you know, important versions, okay, that bring in new features for us to use. Now, how do we check? How do we check our current version? This is kind of important because uh, we need to know whether our, co our compiler supports that new feature or not before using it. So, yeah, how do we check? It's actually really simple. There's this code snippet I'm going to provide you. All you need to do is copy paste that into your your code file and run it and you'll get your answer. Okay, this is that code snippet. And if I run this myself, I get C17 as the answer, which is the version of my compiler. Okay, how is this possible? How are how are we doing this magic? Well, we are using the C macro over here, which stores the version, okay? Like it stores this actually 2020, 2017, 2014, 2011, 1997. Okay, these are the, the different versions, okay, and the years they were released in. Okay, now just bear in mind that while all compilers come with this, like GCC, which is, which is what I'm using, and Clang, uh, but the MSVC, the MSVC compiler, which I think is for Microsoft Visual Studio. There is a slight uh, issue over there. You need to pass in some kind of special command option, okay? Because if you don't, you'll get this by default, okay? Even if your compiler is, say, uh, you know, that of 2017 or 20, okay? So if you guys get this, okay, and you believe that it's not, uh, if you think that it's actually C++11 or higher, and you're on the Microsoft compiler, then just do a quick Google search and you'll find a very easy solution to this. You just need to pass in some kind of uh, command line option. All right. Now, other than that, there's one more thing I want to mention is that there's this over here that you can re you can use this on Linux and this should give a, give you the same thing. Okay. It's just a way of, you know, grabbing the value for this macro on Linux. Okay. Also, this code here should also work on Linux. Okay. As long as you're using something, you know, as long as you use you're using a compiler like GCC, all right? Same thing, all right? So that's about it. There's nothing more really to discuss here. Uh, happy compiling.